Hello everyone! Today we are going to be talking about pinwheels. Why are we talking about pinwheels? Because this is our project and science week for grade 6 and it's about energy. Why it, how does a pinwheel connect it with energy? You know how pinwheel is connected with energy is because of mechanical energy. Energy, let's go with the basic background of energy. Energy is a physical form, form transferred to objects in order for them to do work or to heat up. And we have different types of energy. And the pinwheel has mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is formed when you turn an object or move an object. That's why it's called mechanical energy. Mechanical energy can be also stored in some objects. And in our muscles, we store mechanical energy. Without mechanical energy, how will we move? How will I raise my hand like this? How would I walk? How would I dance? How would I even get up of this bed? or sit. That's why we need mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is one of the most important forms of energy. And we have the pinwheel. The pinwheel is, has mechanical energy because it is turned or triggered by wind. Okay, so here's a little history about, about pinwheels. The modern pinwheel is invented by an Armenian immigrant named Turgan Samor in Boston, Massachusetts in 1919. So this means he invented the so-called modern pinwheel where children can just play it or put it in your garden to put a little color on it. But wait, 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 whoa, 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 you think that Oh, it was invented in 1919. What a new invention. No, it goes further than that. Early civilizations like the Chinese, the Egyptian, the Roman, and the Greek civilizations actually did pinwheels and they are known as world gigs, but they are not propeller driven. The most possible existence of a propeller driven world gig or a pinwheel is when the Sasanian Empire used it for for them to have irrigation on their crops. Yes, used to live on irrigation. A good example of that is where in the scene of the boy who harnessed the wind where Will Kamkwamba turns on his elect turns on his windmill and water came right and water was lifted in order for them to have to sow their crops. So that is the brief history of the pinwheel or the world gig. The world gig is more complicated than the pinwheel. So the pinwheel is like the more basic and easier way of version of the world gig. Well, usually this pinwheel used to be pretty much for irrigation well it is still used now like for still irrigation or something but it's more used as pastime and art and more used as toy for children yes that's why pinwheel symbol as prevention to prevent children from having bad childhood memories and to keep that good childhood memories in their in their lives like Ooh, it spins, it's so beautiful. What a beautiful life I have. Yeah. So how in the world did I make a pinwheel? How do you make this? Like, oh, can you tell me how to make this? Give me tips. Okay. So what I need, so what I used is this. It's vellum paper. Well, you could use scrapbooking paper or double-sided scrapbooking paper but I do not have scrapbooking paper, so I made my own. This is where science meets art. So I decided to cut my vellum paper into a square and painted a night, the night sky and on this side and on the other side is the day sky. So it's like cotton candy clouds and galaxy to have a very beautiful effect. 
I decided to do this because double-sided scrapbooking paper creates the full effect that pinwheels have. And now I have also I also used a balloon stick which which we used for my birthday and a straw and a straw that my mom stored. But wait, wait, wait. How did it spin if I just used if I only used this and this? Where is it? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you how to spin, how I make this thing spin. It's because of a screw and a nut. Yes, no thumb tacks means safe for children and here it is. So, as you can see, I'm going to put this down for now. And here is how it looks like. So, at first, I didn't trust my mom about this because I was afraid that it won't spin. But then when we tried it out, it was like spinning really fast and it was like spinning smoothly. And as you can see, here is what I used. Okay, so as you... And also, when, I, when we applied this part and this part, it was like... It was drooping, it was a little wobbly, and it might break. So my mom used a piece of plastic packaging that I... That we... That I that is in a mechanical pencil set, which is this Faber-Castell bubble pencil that I bought in Lazada and decided to make a circular part here. So because of this, it does not droop or wobble anymore and it bounced perfectly like the way that I wanted. So now I'm gonna show you how I made this in a video, okay? So you could watch and learn about how to make a pinwheel that is safe for kids.